Hello everybody and welcome to a new video. This is Dolphin and today guys I'm gonna show you how to ruin the twins in 2020. Guys yes, there is a billion videos about twins. I'm gonna make one because a lot of people ask me how do you ruin the twins for PvE? Can you show me your twins when I stream? So I'm gonna make a video so you guys can check how I have my twins ruined. Twins guys, they got nerfed but they're still really really good so Make sure you use them. They're definitely really good in PvE. I don't know about PvP. Unless you have Martina, I don't think you actually can make any like siege defense with the twins. Maybe you can, but I would say without Martina, it's not gonna be that good. Arena defense, not really. Arena offense, you might work something out, but there is better options, honestly. So what are the twins good for, Dofla? Uh, PvE. PvE guys, twins are still really, really, really amazing. I will show you how I have mine runes and I will show you why I have them runes like that. But I'm gonna show you where I use them and uh, where you should use them. Guys, the twins are really good for pretty much everything in PvE. They are really good for TOA, they are really good for Giant, Dragon, Necro, for HOH. They're really good for Rift Beast, you can use them for sure. Um, I think they, their build is gonna change slightly for different part of the of the PVE you wanna you wanna clear, but overall you can build them pretty much the same way. I'm gonna show you how I have my one rune. Actually, I'm gonna show you where I use them. I don't think I use them in Giant. No, I don't use. I use them in Necro, in, in Dragon and in Necro. I use different ones in Dragon in Dragon and Necro though. I use Double Talia in Necro and I use Shayna in Dragon. The, the reason is because, yes, Sabrina... I'm gonna show you one by one by the end of the video, but I'm gonna tell you why I have Shayna in Dragon. I have Shayna in Dragon because I need the defense break for the Dragon, like straight away. If he gets immunity, it's gonna be a slow clear. It's gonna be a slow clear, I don't want a slow clear in Dragon. It could be even a fail if I don't defense break the Dragon. Shayna is way more reliable than, than Sabrina for the defense break. And uh, yeah, with Shayna, obviously, you're gonna get the defense break on the Dragon. Sabrina and Talia are gonna do damage together with the other two units that you're gonna use. You can use another... I've seen people using four Twins and uh, Verde Hill for Dragon. I've seen people using Julie with the twins and uh, maybe Dark Pierre if you have or Lin does a lot of damage as well. So you have different options. Shayna here is good as well. Now Shayna is not that good for PvP anymore because she doesn't have the speed lead anymore and she doesn't have the decrease attack bar anymore. So yeah, it's a big nerf. But for PvE, she's still good. For dungeon, she gets the attack power leader skill. 33% it's actually pretty decent and uh, is for everybody so still good for PvE so again I like Shayna and Dragon because she gets defense break for sure if you build I mean my Sabrina is high accuracy but she still miss well high accuracy I would say 50% is pretty good accuracy but she still miss a decent amount of defense break on the opponent so I like Shayna on the Dragon um, with the turn order, obviously, you want Shayna in this case to go first, so you get the defense break on everybody and then everybody else. Probably, if you're using the same team, the Crow should go right after um, Shayna, so you might get the branding effect as well, and then everybody else will move. So doesn't matter if the Twins, the, other, the Water Twins are gonna move after Crow, or if Lin is gonna move after Crow. But yeah, I would say Shayna first. Shayna's gonna defense break if you get her with decent accuracy. She's gonna defense break. She has multi hit and it's pretty reliable defense break. So she will defense break. Also, she teams up with Sabrina. So you definitely should defense break. Then Crow, Branding. Or if you miss the defense break, Crow can actually defense break as well. And then everybody else goes. For, for Giant, I don't use the Twins anymore. But I've seen people using Lucian and uh, even four twins. You can go double Talia, Sabrina. You can go double Sabrina, double Talia, honestly. You can go Lucian, Lauren, Water Twins. I can show you how it works. I'm pretty sure it works. 
Absolutely sure. I mean, when you, whenever you have, if you have Lauren, if you have Lauren, I don't know if that one is to build. Uh, I think it, yeah, they are, they are, they are. As long as you have Lauren in Giant, anything is gonna work. If you use Lauren, I mean, if you wanna see how to use Lauren in Giant, how Lauren works in Giant, check the video. I think it's up here on the other side, but there's a video on how to use Lauren in Giant, and she's. She's the key, really. She's the key. She's the key uh, monster for giant. But you can use this mo this team for giants. It, it really works. Water twins, Lauren, Lucian. If you don't have Lucian, <laughs> summon a Lucian. He's a four-star event now. So get Lucian from that. If you don't have Lucian, well, that's your fault. There's been a lot of four-star events. Twenty-nine seconds. It could be faster, but 29 seconds are really, really good. You can build your units better for Giant. I don't use that much in Giant. And uh, for Necro, I use this team. Water, Cunning Girl, Unawakened. Guys, Unawakened, so you don't get the first skill. First skill, it's the boss twice only. Skill 1 hits the boss 3 times. Skill 2 hits the boss 8 times. So don't awaken her, it's, it's not worth it. Lucian, Water Twins, this team works pretty well. Unless Lucian goes crazy with his AI, or unless you miss a lot of defense break with Sabrina, this unit, this team, sorry, works really, really well for Necro. I, I, I don't know, I don't think I actually failed ever with this team. Maybe, actually, yeah, I did, a couple of times. A couple of times but I've been farming Necro a, de a decent amount now, so it's really really reliable. After this round guys, I'm gonna show you how I have my twins rune, what sets, what offset and what stats I went for when I built them. That's the twins though, PB, even a TOA, I, be I cleared my TOA this time with the fire twins. Fire twins are really good. 35 seconds, my best is 30 seconds, but 35 seconds is average, it's actually average. And uh, it's pretty good for Necro, it's really reliable, I'm fine with 35 seconds, I don't really want to go for more than that, for faster than that. But yeah, as I was saying, I used my Fire Twins for TOA, I used Fire Twins, Jean, Front, Verde Hill. You don't need to use uh, the, the front, sorry, not really, because Jean is gonna AoE provoke anyway. So you can use something else instead of uh, of front. You can use Rika if you have one, or Daughters if you have if you have some Daughters. You should have some Daughters. Barretta is a free to play. Water Monculus, Dots as well. But yeah, there is free to play option for Daughters, so you should have Daughters. But yeah, front Jean Fire Twins. It's actually pretty pretty strong. Fire Twins you have three AoE stun. With two units you have three AoE stuns. And they have defense break and you have the attack buff with front. They're gonna do decent amount of damage. So how do I have my two instruments? Now Sabrina is like this on violent shield. She's attack, crit damage, attack. Uh bear in mind my twins are not grinded. Most of them are not grinded, so the runs in Necro, Dragon, in PvE in general, if you have them grinded, they're gonna be even better. So bear that in mind, I haven't grinded them because, I don't know, I've been slacking probably. But I don't have them grinded, it could be much much better. I can enchant attack here, I don't have an enchanted um, violent gem so, so yeah. And uh, and shield, guys. You definitely definitely need shield need shield in necro. If you wanna use double tally in necro with Lucian, you need two or three shield sets. If you don't build, if you don't put any shield set on your unit, they are gonna die. Cause the mini the enemies between the first stage and the boss they reflect damage. So if you have defense break on some of them and Talia goes skill free, Talia's gonna die if she doesn't have any shield set. Same for Lucian. They're gonna die. So make sure this is really important. This is actually really really important. Put some shield set on your necro units, on your necro team, uh, twin, or on Lucian, but, uh, on Lucian or on the water uh, Cunninger. Put some some shield sets, otherwise 
you're gonna fail. You're gonna fail. Also, one other important, really important thing is crit rate. Try to get as close as possible to 100% crit rate. You wanna crit, you wanna crit, you wanna kill. Yeah, try to get 100% crit rate. Speed, guys, for Necro especially, speed is not really important. It's not, because the speed is capped anyway. You don't need speed. But, obviously, you can use the twins in every single dungeon, so try to get decent amount of speed. You don't need high speed though, plus 37 is really low. So you definitely can get 37 speed on your unit. Especially because my units, my twins are not really grinded. So if you grind them, definitely you can get plus 37 speed, come on. That's not that hard. Talia's. Alright, Talia's is a, a debate, because a lot of people a lot of people ask me why Italian on violence. I like Italian on violence because if she procs, Sabrina is attacking two. So two more attacks. I'm getting other two attacks out of it. Um, I would say if you're using the twins in Necro especially, the second Talia, actually on Necro probably violence is the best way anyway. But if you're using them even in Giant and in, Dra in Dragon, the second Talia could be on Rage because she's going to do even more damage. And uh, yeah, she could be on rage. Really could be on rage. Now here, you could be their violent shield, so you get even more shield, so they don't die by themselves. Again, attack with damage attack. Uh, really not grinded. Not really grinded these twins. Not much. Just some grinds could be better. But yeah, Talia. Uh, yeah, Talia. Attack with damage attack. 100% crit rate is really really important, guys. Really really important. Um, it doesn't really matter if she's faster than Sabrina or not, because Sabrina is going to attack with her anyway, and Sabrina is going to defense break anyway, skill 1, so it doesn't really matter. Sk uh, second Talia is like this, she has less crit rate, but she works, she has more attack, so she works, it, it's fine, doesn't matter. Same again, attack, crit damage, attack, not much grinding on, on them, but I should. Definitely. Uh, where's Shayna? Shayna is like this. Shayna is a bit faster. Because if you're using her in Dragon, you definitely want Shayna to go before the other twins. So she can definitely defense break. And uh, obviously, if you're using Shayna, Water Twins in Dragon, you're using other two units, the defense break is gonna help the other units do even more damage. So definitely Shayna. I need to skill her up. I have skill ups. I don't know why I didn't skill her up. And uh, again, attack with damage attack, try to get some speed, so she she moves faster, she moves first, defense break, and then everybody else is going to do a lot more damage. Um, yeah, these are my twins, I can show you Maruna, I use Maruna for um, TOA now, and HOH sometimes, unless, like, on the last stages of HOH, I don't use Maruna, because that's not going to work. I use other units, but also if you want to check how to do HOH, Check it over here. You see our video, and uh, you're gonna clear HH really easily. But again, guys, Maruna has AoE stun on skill 2 and on skill 3. And obviously, if you skill her up, not like me, but if you actually skill her up, she's gonna have these available every, I think it's 4 turns and 3 turns, so much, much better. Again, I have skill ups, but I did it. Attack with damage attack again. Overall, twins, attack with damage attack probably is the best way. For Maruna, you need accuracy, or she needs to stun the opponent. Skill 3 is guaranteed stun if she attacks with the Chakram, but skill 2 isn't. So try to get try to get the accuracy. Also skill 1 defense break, so you definitely need the accuracy. So be there, get some accuracy and uh, yeah. So I'm going to show you as well that I have another shield set, so two shield set is enough for Necro, two is enough. Um, it works, it works, definitely works. If you can get another one, especially if you have higher attack, high crit damage on your twins, get, get another one, another shield set. If not, two shield set are just fine. So yeah, the twins guys are amazing. Sabrina is a key monster for Dragon and Necro because she has a defense break on skill 1 and a defense break on skill 2. So. Yeah, Sabrina is a really key monster for Dragon and Necro, you need the defense break. If you don't have her, you're gonna use Shayna, but you also can't use Talia. Because 
they are not gonna team up, right? So Sabrina is really important for Dragon and Necro, for Giant as well, if you're using the Twins. If you're not using the Twins, yeah, obviously not. But yeah, really important. Skill up, skill her up for the defense play. Chances, I'm gonna go higher and get accuracy on her. 50% accuracy, 45 I think is the least, is the, the very least you can get on her to be a reliable defense break. Guys, this is it for the video. I really hope it helps because I've seen a lot of people building the trades super fast, like 100, 100, plus 100 speed, plus more than that, and then having like 65% crit rate, zero accuracy on the Sabrina, no skill ups, and saying, hey, my twins don't work, why? Like, you're not creating, you're not doing damage. You can have plus 6,000 attack if you don't crit, you're not gonna do that. Well, 6,000 attack you would, but yeah. You can have a lot of attack, but if you don't have enough crit ready, you don't crit. You're not gonna do that much damage. If you don't have accuracy, you're not gonna defense break. You're not gonna do enough damage. If you don't have skill ups, you're probably not gonna defense break, even if you have the accuracy, because the chances of defense breaking is not gonna be that high. So, yeah, like, skill them up, put accuracy on the ones that need accuracy. Shayna needs some accuracy. Maruna needs some accuracy, Sabrina needs some accuracy. Talia don't, because Talia is there just to do the damage and destroy the bosses. Guys, I really hope it helps, really, really do. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if the video helped or if you just wanna support me. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye everybody, take care guys.